Hello, my name's Adam. I'm the co-founder of Reloom. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a demo of the Reloom library site builder. So let's jump in. Okay, so I've created a new project and I'm going to title it Demo Project. Now, the first thing that you'll see when creating a new project is the Generate Sitemap Modal. And the reason for this is because generating a sitemap with the help of AI is a great way to start any website project and get the creative juices flowing. In the sitemap modal, there are two inputs that lead to the AI output. And the first input is a description of the company the website is for. Now, you can describe the company in a sentence or two, but we do encourage you to provide as much detail as possible here. The more detail you put in the company description, the richer the output. So provide lots of context and be as specific as possible. For this demo, I'm going to be using one of the examples, which is for a company called Rebank, which is a digital bank. And then for the number of pages, which is an approximation, I think five pages is a good number. When thinking about this number, I like to consider the budget of the project and the type of company I'm designing for. I think for a digital bank, five may be on the lower side. Maybe not if it's a startup, but I'll just roll with this for now and press generate. As you can see, it is generating the homepage with suggestions for components and content. And it has suggested some pages as part of the sitemap too. Once the sitemap has been generated, I can either continue generating the remaining pages, I can close this modal and edit the sitemap, I can rerun this or I can discard this. To be honest, I feel like the AI could do a better job, so I'm going to rerun this again and see what I get. Sweet, that's looking much better. Next thing I'm going to do is continue generating the page and add a contact page because I feel like that's what's missing currently from the sitemap. And I'll press generate for the contact page too. And so within a couple of minutes, I have a complete sitemap that provides an outline for each page with each section. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to edit a sitemap. So let's take a look at the About Us page specifically. At first glance, I probably don't want a client logos list section here, but I could definitely use this for the home page. So I'm going to move it to the home page by dragging and dropping the section. Now I'm liking the About Us page, but I'd like to get AI to suggest a second version. To do this, I'm going to duplicate the page, delete the sections and generate the page again. What I love about AI is that it not only generates ideas in seconds, but it also does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. At Reloom, we believe AI will change the way we work and design, and here's an example of that. And actually, I do prefer that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original page by using the delete shortcut. I can also right click to delete the page too. When it comes to editing the sitemap, you can move pages around by dragging and dropping them as I'm doing here with the pricing page. And you can also edit the text for each section. For example, I'm going to edit this feature list section by changing saving goals to say quick transfers. Great. You can also edit the section title as well, but I'll leave that as is for now. And that's how you create a sitemap in just a few minutes. It is now time to convert this sitemap into a wireframe. And it is super easy to do that. So what I'm going to do is click the wireframe button at the top of the page, which takes me to a wireframe view where I have a list of each page in my sitemap and a generated wireframe for each page that is using the components from Reloom library. You can also see that AI has written the copy for me too. And the copy is based on the section titles and descriptions and maps perfectly to the components. As you can see here, I have a feature section that's highlighting the convenience of managing money on the go with Rebank. And based on this context, AI has chosen a feature section with some text on the left and an image on the right, which I could imagine being an image of Rebank's app UI. But if I wanted to change the layout of a section, I can do that by replacing the component with other suggested components. 
For this example, I'm going to pick layout 16, which includes a list where I can call out some key benefits. I'm also going to replace this logo section. I think I would prefer something that has a single row of logos that loop, just like that. You can also move sections around in the wireframe by using the up and down arrows on your keyboard or by dragging and dropping the sections. You can also add new sections and choose from over 1000 reloom components. For this wireframe, I might add a testimonial section here because I feel like that's missing from the page. Let me just check the rest of the page first. Oh, okay, there's one. I might still add a testimonial section here, maybe just a single testimonial section. And then I'll go to the section details panel and make sure that the section title and section description make sense before I generate copy for this section. Great. And then I'm going to copy the section and move it so that we have a testimonial sandwich. And then I might just delete the testimonial below. And so at this point, I've completed my wireframe for the home page. And let's just imagine that I've edited the other pages too. Okay, so at this point, I have created an awesome wireframe and I want to share it with a client. There are a few ways that you can do this. The first way is to just share a view only link. So if you copy this link and send it to the client, the client will be able to view a view only link that they cannot edit, they can just view. So this is a nice way of sort of taking the client through uh, your project. Another way that you can share this would be to export this into Figma. And by exporting this into Figma, you can continue designing and editing and building upon the work that was done inside of the site build up. And then you can share it with your client. So I'm gonna show you next how to export into Figma. So what I'm going to do is click the export button and click export to Figma. And there'll be a modal here explaining that I'll need to install the Reloom Library Figma plugin to export the wireframes and sitemap. So you'll need to go ahead and do that. I already have the plugin installed, so I'm going to go over to Figma and open it. And here we see a list of projects that have been saved to my Reloom account. Now I'm going to select the demo project, which is the project I've been working out of. And as you can see, I can add the sitemap and wireframe to the canvas. I'll go ahead and click add wireframes. And as you can see, it has added every single wireframe from the demo project to the canvas. It's also important to note that I'm using the Reloom library Figma kit file so that I can sync the wireframes with the styles and components from this file. This enables me to easily update the styling across all the wireframes. For example, if I go back to the blocks demo page, you will see that the button has been updated to have round edges. And if I go back to the style guide page where the button component lives, I can change the button color to blue. And that change is made across all the wireframes. Another cool thing is that each section of the wireframe is built using the components from the Reloom Library Figma kit, which have been built by our team of Figma experts. They're built with auto layout, which makes them super easy to edit. And because we've synced with the components in this file, I can change the variance here, which will change the component used and keep the existing copy, which is a nice little feature. Another cool feature of Figma export is that you can copy and paste individual sections from the site builder. So let's imagine that I want to replace the logo section with a new component. Once I replace the component, I can right click and press copy to Figma. I can go back to Figma, open the plugin again and click the paste button and paste the clipboard into the space and this will add the section to the canvas. And then all I need to do is paste that section into the wireframe. And because it's using auto layer, it snaps perfectly into place. Next, I'm going to show you how to export to Webflow. 
Now, exporting to Webflow is even easier. To export to Webflow, you must ensure you're using the Reloom Library Style Guide. A quick way to find the Style Guide is to visit the Reloom Library website where you can find a link to the Style Guide on each page in the Preferences dropdown. I'm going to go ahead and clone this Style Guide. You'll need to clone the Style Guide so that the classes used in the components can sync with the classes used in the style guide. This will help with rendering the components and also will enable you to control styling at a global level and keep your Webflow project more organized. And so once I have this style guide, I can go ahead and I can delete what's in this page because I'm going to paste in this entire page from the site builder. To do this, I'll select the page, right click and copy to Webflow. And it will show me this modal telling me that I need to go through the steps that I've just shown you. I'm going to press OK, I've got it. And I'm going to go to my Webflow project and paste in the page. And as you can see, it has pasted it into Webflow. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press publish so I can publish to the internet. And I'm going to view it inside of the browser. And here I'm using a nice uncommon component which looks pretty cool. And yeah, basically everything looks how it should look. And it's even mobile responsive. So now you can build upon this wireframe with the power of Webflow. And that's all I have for this demo. I hope you have a better idea on how the Ribbon Library site builder works and good luck building your websites.